Good morning, GLADS. I'm Jeremiah Jones. And I'm Corinne McAfee, and this is your KWHS News. College and recruiter visits are in full swing in the Counseling Center during lunch and advisory. Remember, you need a pass from the Counseling Center to attend. Today, the reps from Intel Tech College will be here, and then tomorrow, the reps from Paul Mitchell School will be here at lunch in the lower comments. Next week, mark your calendar for Tuesday, September 18th, when the reps from the Savannah College of Art and Design will be here. If you are interested in attending Colorado College, they will be here on Tuesday, September 25th. Colorado Mesa University kicks off October visits on October second. Then on Wednesday, October 3rd, the CU Boulder admissions reps will be here. That same day during lunch, the reps from the Barbizon Modeling School will be here in the lower commons. On Thursday, October 4th, we will have a very special visit from the U.S. Naval Academy. If you are even remotely interested in attending the Service Academy, please mark your calendar to attend this visit. The time is still being worked out, but we'll get that information to you as soon as we know. On October 11th, the reps from CSU Pueblo are scheduled to visit. Looking toward November, Fort Hayes State University in Kansas has scheduled the first college visit of the month on November 13th, then pencil in UCCS on November 15th. On November 29th, after Thanksgiving, Adam State plans to visit. We'll keep you posted on any changes to this schedule, so pencil them in on your calendar. Before we move on, the Counseling Center would also like juniors and seniors to know that WHS will be an ACT test site on Saturday, October 27th. The deadline to register for this exam date is September 28th. If this date doesn't work for you, check out other testing dates and locations at this website. If you are taking the ACT with no writing, the cost is $50.50. If you plan to take the ACT plus writing, that exam cost is $67. To register, check with the counseling office or go online at this website. Attention juniors, if you're interested in taking the PSAT NMSQT test, a non-mandatory test different from the PSAT 10, WHS is offering it on the morning of Wednesday, October 10th. The cost is $16 and space is limited to the first 20 people who sign up and pay by the end of the day on October 5th. This test is not required for college or graduate graduation, but if you want to try for the National Merit Scholarship, you should take it. And one last note from the Counseling Center for Juniors. There will be an informational night for all juniors and their parents in the WHS Auditorium on Wednesday, September 19th from 6 to 8 p.m. It's not mandatory, but all juniors are encouraged to come and hear information that will help you prepare for your senior year and post-high school plans. DECA and FBLA will have a meeting today with Ms. Griggs in room 131. Power Club will also have a meeting today at lunch in room 130. Bring a list of your positive note ideas. Homecoming is coming up on Saturday, September 29th from 7 to 11 p.m. in Bowers Gym. The theme this year is City of Lights. Tickets are on sale this week in the business office. Advanced tickets are $15 per person. Tickets at the door will be $20. Guest forms for homecoming are now available in the main office. And the deadline to have those back in is Friday, September 21st. Ladies, if you need a dress for homecoming, check out the stash in Becca's closet. They have received boxes of new dresses over the summer and need to clear out their inventory to make room for more. Make your appointment with this HK in the library. Remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. Coming up, we'll have Miss Betsy and her guest with today's lunch menu, so stay tuned. First, let's head to the sports desk with Kieran Doolittle for scores and upcoming sporting events. Tell us what's up, Kieran. Good Wednesday morning, Gladiators. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our tennis team took the home courts on Tuesday against our rival Mesa Ridge and put a win in the record books. See the team take the court this week against the Vanguard School on Friday at 345. Let's hope they can win another W of the season. In volleyball news, our Lady Glads are at home today against Pueblo Centennial at 6 p.m. Come join Rex's Ratties and show your Gladiator spirit. The Lady Glads softball team was on the road to take the Mitchell Marauders yesterday and earned another dub for their season record. Our ladies are at home tomorrow against Sierra at 4 p.m. Speaking of the softball team, the ladies are hosting a fundraiser this Saturday at Chipotle in Southgate. Tell the cashier you're with Widefield High School and 33% of your sale will be donated to the softball team. The boys soccer team played Fountain Fort Carson at Fountain on Tuesday night and kicked in a win into their books. Way to go, gentlemen. In our Friday night lights, our gladiator football team is on the road this Friday to take on the Centaurus Warriors at 7 p.m. It's a bit of a drive, but the team would appreciate your support. Our cross-country team ran the Florence Invite on Tuesday afternoon and clocked in some great times. The team is headed to Rock Canyon High School this Saturday for a meet at 8.30 a.m. 
We hope to have results for your next Wednesday. Our Gladiator Marching Band kicks off their competition season this Saturday as well. The band is at Harrison High School for a clinic and a show. We wish them well and we'll have the results for you on Wednesday. And finally, for you ladies interested in playing basketball this winter, check in with Coach Haz in room two for details and information. That's your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Now back to you, Jeremiah and Corinne. Thanks for the update, Kieran. GLADS Student Union is now open in the library after school from 2.45 until 4.15. You can stop by to do homework, use the computers, or just hang out until games or practices start. Games, puzzles, books, and a teacher will be available for you. Remember, you have to have a sticker on your ID to stay and play. Get those from Mrs. Price in the main office. Are you hungry yet? Here's Miss Betsy and her guests with today's lunch menu. Happy Wednesday, everybody! Woo! Woo so what's for lunch today? Today lasagna with garlic knots. Ooh, but you gotta buy the lasagna to get the garlic knot. Yeah, sorry about that. And then on Thursday... How about some meatball subs? Hey, that sounds good to me. Meatball subs. Meatball subs. And then, just as a reminder, I have all these names here of people that have not turned in their yellow applications. You need to get those in. The big shot come the 27th when you have to pay full price. Thanks, and have a great three-day weekend. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, remember to return your free and reduced lunch applications to Miss Betsy, or she cannot update your account. If you did not have your picture taken or need to retake your photos, mark September 21st on your calendar. This is for students and teachers. If you are retaking your photos, you must return the picture order you receive. If you need that after school participation waiver for clubs, study sessions, or to use the library, you can also get those in the main office. When you turn in your waiver, you will get a sticker for your ID. The student store is now open in the cafeteria. You can now pick up your Gladiator gear at lunch on Mondays and Fridays, and before school on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And finally, seniors. Listen up. Your senior photo and quotes are due by October 19th. See Ms. Kennedy in room 103 for additional details on how to submit those for the yearbook. That's it for Wednesday, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones. And I'm Corinne McAfee. Remember, students, there is no school on Friday, but teachers, you must report in as scheduled.